Hello, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Van Guillon and I'm going to show you a uh, hands on activity. This is a part of a playlist of a presentation of TFT minus half method for energy gap corrections. Okay, so this is the second video of this playlist that I mentioned. Uh, I hope you already saw it so you have a basic knowledge about what is TFT. So the objective of this video is to show you a first DFT calculation of gallium nitride, which would be our prototypal uh, material, which are going to be interest. Uh, we are going to calculate the energy gap. Uh, DFT, as I will show you, will not give a very nice gap, but we will correct later with DFT minus half method. So. There are many, many codes that have uh, density functional theory implemented. I'm going to use on this video Vienna Ab Initial Simulation Package, known as VASP. This is the most popular uh, DFT code. It uses plane waves, so uh, this is especially interesting if you're interested on calculating uh, crystal material or other periodic systems. Uh, you can check more information on VASP website. Uh, and also, it has very nice uh, documentation. You have an online manual, you can download the PDF. Also, there are uh, forums available if you have any special difficulties. Uh, VASP is, uh, it has a license, so if you wish to use that, you have to pay for it. Uh, and I'm not, uh, it's not work on Vast company, and you can ask for more information on this uh, licensee mail. Okay. Uh, I also, for record, provide this installation information, but I, I'm not going to do this in this video. Just if you like to start using Vast, just to help you a little bit, but it's it's a part of uh, the online manual. Okay, so um, I'm going to perform in this video uh, first calculation, oh, first DFT calculation, uh, and I'd like to show you in some inputs and then the outputs that we're going to use on the next hands-on activities. And VASP has um, four basic input files. Uh, this should be very uh, similar to other DFT uh, codes, uh, especially if the ones that use plane waves, but because basically you're going to provide the same information on different formats. Uh, some, um, some others like Quantum Expresso already has all this information just one file, but uh, let's, let's show you some form for basic knowledge about the, the input files. You have the INCAR, which you provide the basic input definitions, which calculations you want to do. Uh, POSCA file, the file with position information. So which elements you have in your structure, in, in which positions, and how is the Pravelettes and so on. So basically, all the positions in periodicity uh, you provide VASP in this input. Um, Polka points. So, according to the block film theorem, um, all the electronic states can be labeled with uh, the number of the band and also the a k, a k vector which belongs to the first virulent zone. So you might have different choices to the points that you wish to calculate the electronic states. Uh, I will highlight some a more common uses. So you, you might you might want to almost read all the first virulent zone on different. Uh, sampling on each direction, so uh, you might provide only the automatic mesh with uh, number N1, N2, and N3 on different uh, directions, 
or you might want to explicitly say to VASP which points you want to calculate. If you have some specific um, need, and on a third option would be to provide a k-path between points, which is called line mode. So in this uh, option, you tell VASP, okay, I want to go to the gamma point, to the k point, and then to k point, to w point, and u point, and whatsoever point, and put in each line, put 10 points. Okay, so you can populate the, you can build uh, a, a path um, made from lines from each point to the ones according to the order you say to VASP. And finally, the fourth file is Portica, which is a file with all the atomic pseudopotentials of the elements that you have in your structure. Okay, so these are basically the four uh, files. And these are the input ones that we are going to use on this gallium nitride simple calculation. So um, just to be clear here, I want to show a, a very fast, simple calculation to just to, to make it clear to the ones that not used to DFT calculations, how we can use DFT. So this is an in-car file, I have some anchored for the plane waves, uh, the atoms were fixed, the occupations will uh, done as in zero Kelvin. This tag is interesting uh, to calculate the atomic orbit character of each crystal uh, crystal state. Some precision tags, and there are many others that you might want to discriminate here, but this should be enough for us. And Vasp already ha already has a default value for the many other tags that you can use. And I recommend you to, if you want to have any detailed information of any tag of here, please check the manual. Um, so this is in car file, the postcard. Uh, if, I, if I do like this, just a little bit more. Okay, so this, and this should be zero, no. Uh, okay, now that's fine. Okay, so basically this is a tag line. This is a, a parameter that multiplies all the distance following. These three vectors are the breve lattices. Uh, this one stands for the elements that I can see in the structure. I have already one um scheme in here uh one atom of gallium one nitrogen and then following in direct coordinates in terms of these three bravo lattices you have the positions of the gallium atom and then of the nitrogen atoms okay so this is a basic format of a postcard file uh, of cap points i will use uh automatic gamma grid of uh with six points on each direction and the directions are the reciprocal lattice uh, associated with this lattice that you provide on postcard and uh vasp already do all the the symmetry operations and so on this is a very efficient code and then postcard i use a standard uh, files uh for the gallium atom and nitrogen atom so uh, if you search in the literature you can see that uh, zinc blend gallium which is this one that you are described with this porosca file i also have a uh, wood seat structure but zinc blend is cheaper computationally saying and this one should have uh, an energy gap of 3.2 electron volts and and we are going to calculate here the total energies and also the electronic band structure which is a second uh, step first perform a, a self-consistent dft calculation to calculate the, the electronic density 
and then you use another KPoints file with the the K path that you wish to calculate. Okay, so I compact here and then show you uh, a little bit later all the input files and the calculations. So the first step is the self consistent calculation of with 11, 11, 11. I perform it six, but let's just change this. Okay. And then on the second step, I perform a non self consistent calculation. I tell VASP to make the electronic charge and the electronic density fixed. And I do this uh, with uh, this here, Gajeka equals 11. And then use this high symmetry K path describe it here. Okay, so let's uh, perform these calculations. Um, it's already done. Uh, or it's already prepared, actually. In this file, you can see the in car. You can see the post car here. And then the key points. Oh, it's just 666. Six, six. No problem. That's fine for us. And Pot car files is a very large one with all the information you might need about gallium and nitrogen atoms. And then I'm going to perform on calculation of fast codes with four processors in my machine. This is a very fast. And then we have a DFT calculations. You have this energy, so it minus uh 10 to the power of 2 minus 12.14 electron volts per unit cell so we have the main informations in the out car uh, let's just see there are energies and some interactions that are already done short amount of time and then you have this information about the eigenvalues for example in a gamma point you have these four bands which are occupied with two electrons and these four amps bands and so on for the all the following k points that you wish to calculate and that's fine you have also Direct lattices, reciprocal lattice, and so on. And also the calculate here. And you can check the alt car file. And also you you might like to use a, a XML file, which is easier to spot to parse the data since everything is Describe it here. Okay. And if you want to calculate, for example, the energy gap that you mentioned, you can we can check the these files and I have already one Omo Lomo script. And I see according to this output that uh, you have a highest occupied band of index four. And lowest unoccupied band of index five. This is semiconductor material with a direct energy gap of 1.62. And uh, these are the homo and lumo energy levels. So, as you can see, we are halfway there. The experimental energy gap is 3.2, and the energy gap is half of it. So, it's expected that DFT uh, misses the gap by something like, uh, let's say, 50%, 40%. Uh, in good cases, 30%. Some cases, it there might be as large as 70%. Okay? So, um, and we can also go for bands. Uh, let me just check. So, actually... You're supposed to copy the CHG car and CHG the one most important bands file and 
addition is it's basically the same thing with only the addition of sega gk equals 11 uh posca does not change at all about uh, podcast is also the same in k points file as you can see we provide a, a line mode with different paths it starts with l point goes to k k goes to gamma gamma goes to x x goes to l with 20 points on each path of this okay so we can calculate in the same way a dft calculations with this k path it should be a similar time okay it's all right done and then we have um all the eigenvalues that you need to build uh electronic bank structure like this so this one i i get these output files and for and process it with pi matching package in this uh on these states as i show you this green dot it stands from the maximum point of the valence band, and this one is conduction band minimum. They occur in the same points, so uh, gallium nitride is it, it has a direct energy gap. Okay, as you can see from here, with an energy gap of about 1.62 electron volts. So this is another very nice value, but uh we have very uh, a lot of qualitative features that are, are, uh, agree with experiment so this is a very first dft calculations a very simple one uh to to give you a taste of how is to calculate it, to perform a dft calculations with fast and thank you for attention and follow us to the next video of that talks about half of people patient techniques of different systems. Thank you.